Hey everyone, coming back at you again from beautiful, beautiful Florida. It feels so good to be back out here. I've been out here a handful of times now over the last few years, and I've even taken you along with me on a couple of those adventures, and it has been just wonderful being out here, searching for different species to photograph. There's been alligators, raccoons, armadillos, so many species of birds. It has been wonderful out here. I've come to truly love it. Over all those trips, there's been one species that I've looked for more than all of the others, and it's been wonderful to photograph them over these different trips that I've had out here. But this is a species that I haven't talked about at all in any of the videos that I've done out here. Well, this week, we're gonna touch on that species. I've been out here for a few days photographing them this trip. Let's rewind a little bit and uh, start at the very beginning. Let's go. Much like my last trip to Florida that I shared here on YouTube, I decided to camp while I searched for wildlife to photograph. But the difference this time is that I only had one species in mind. Of course, I wouldn't walk away from any chance wildlife encounters that presented themselves, but all of my energy would be applied to actively looking for this species and capitalizing on every possible opportunity to photograph them. And to do this, I took to the kayak once again. So you might be wondering, Jimmy, what species are you talking about? None other than the beautiful roseate spoonbill. It was late when I arrived and got my camp set up that first night. I knew the coming days were going to be exhausting, so I headed straight to bed after making preparations for the next morning. Hours later, the alarm went off and I set out while it was still dark. I had a long paddle ahead of me and I wanted to make sure I was in position by the time the sun rose. Luckily, this was an area I had already scouted on a previous trip so I knew exactly where I was headed. Light came quickly and immediately I began to see the beautiful spoonbills. I've spent a lot of time over my various excursions finding the best spots to see these birds. But each time I see them, I'm just left in awe at how gorgeous they are. I spent the entire first day of my trip kayaking around, exploring and photographing the spoonbills and any other wildlife I could find. Partway through the day, I was photographing a pair of oyster catchers when another pair approached and all four began flying around, squabbling with each other over the best stretch of beach. This gave me some really fun opportunities to photograph them in flight and I was really happy with the resulting images. The day was drawing to an end, so I paddled to one of my favorite locations for spoonbills, and sure enough, after a short wait, they began to arrive. It got dark quickly, and soon I was pushing my camera to its max. I didn't want to leave the magnificent birds, but finally did when it was nearly completely dark. After a long, nighttime paddle, I finally returned to camp and quickly collapsed on my bed, only to repeat it all again the next morning. What a wonderful morning I just had out with those spoonbills. Absolutely fantastic. You'll have to excuse my mosquito hat right now. I'm using it as a sunshade. The mosquito net in the back is doubling as a sunscreen because up until just a couple minutes ago, that sun was just beaten down. I've got a little bit of cloud cover now and this breeze is absolutely divine. But yeah, I'm kayaking back to camp after a wonderful morning of spoonbill photography. I had a lot of amazing opportunities with them. I uh, posted up in the water this morning with my waders, camera and tripod all set up, 
and I had some spoonbills flying just all around me. I was able to get some really fun pictures and I got some pictures of them coming in and actually landing, which are some of my favorite pictures uh, when photographing birds because you get those wings just spread out, just absolutely beautiful. I had uh, a couple spoonbills in the water actually like bathing and splashing around, which was amazing. I love pictures like that as well. Just a lot of awesome opportunities for photography this morning. And eventually the spoonbills made their way out of the area and uh, roosted up in some trees for the late morning and afternoon. So I'm um, headed back to camp to get a little bit of reprieve from the sun, from the heat. And so I'm gonna get some shade and some lunch because I learned very quickly yesterday. You can see by my tan line here, well, yeah, let's be honest, I'm not tan at all. By my burn line there, that even when you cover up and try to hide from the sun, it'll get you. So <laughs> I'm headed back to camp now. And in just a couple hours, I'm gonna turn right around and head back out to go find some more spoonbills uh, other birds, some more whatever I can find to photograph. I'm absolutely loving this trip. It's been awesome so far. I will uh, check in with y'all as soon as I head back out. Returning to camp, I spent the afternoon resting and photographing some small lizards and crabs that were hanging around. I always enjoy photographing these smaller critters whenever I can. I'm not about to leave the foxes, bears, and owls that I love photographing so much to become a professional crab photographer, but it certainly is an enjoyable way to pass the time. Just a couple of hours later, I set out once again in the kayak in search of more spoonbills to photograph. Another wonderful evening with these stunning pink birds and another late night out on the water before returning to my quiet, dark camp. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have had so much fun over the last few days photographing these beautiful, beautiful spoonbills. I just finished up with them this morning and I'm about to hop back in the kayak and start the long paddle back to camp. It has been wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed. They're such beautiful, regal birds and I have had so much fun photographing them over my various trips out here to Florida. On that note, I'm so excited to be rolling out another group workshop for photographing these spoonbills and the other beautiful birds out here in Florida. I'm so excited to be rolling this out as it's something that I've been working on for quite some time now and it's been so much fun coming here and being able to photograph the spoonbills over multiple trips and now to be able to share that with you and hopefully get out into the field with photographers like you to be able to photograph these beautiful birds. I'll have more details on my website. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But as always, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm more than happy to answer those for you. And I hope that you can join me out here one of these years. I am so thrilled to be rolling this out. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. I have had so much fun putting it together and I love being able to share it here with you. 
it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to share these experiences with fellow nature lovers. So I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for the support. I always appreciate it. We'll see you on the next adventure. Until next time, see you next week.